A heat wave is gripping parts of Canada, too, just weeks after scorching temperatures left at least 53 people dead in Montreal alone. Parts of Quebec are once again in the hot zone. Daytime temperatures feeling like 40 degrees with the humidity. Simon Nakaneshny tells us what's being done to try to make sure that more lives aren't lost this time around. Turn it off. Hot or cold, when it comes to extreme temperatures, Montrealers tend to take things in stride. Beginning of July, it was deadly, but you got used to it, to be honest. It's the last day of Putin Fest, so we had to come. <laughs> but for the city's most vulnerable, sweltering temperatures are more than just uncomfortable. They can be lethal. At the end of June, a heat wave descended on the city for six days. When it was all over, 53 people had died from heat-related causes. Officials don't see danger in the forecast this time, but say people need to take care if things drag on. Our bodies reach a limit, especially if we're vulnerable, if I'm older uh, or if I have a chronic disease. Uh, then my capacity to cope after a couple of days might be overcome. Hua says those most at risk are men living alone without air conditioning. Homeless shelters are taking the lead. Listen, it's hot, you're sweating, you don't feel that you don't look too good, just come inside. We'll give you some water, just take a break and go back because you're, you're, like I said, you're going to collapse. So far, local health authorities have not triggered a heat alert, but they're watching key indicators carefully like the number of ambulance calls and deaths outside of hospitals. If things escalate, the city will keep pools and libraries open longer for people to cool off. Still, it's unlikely the scorching weather will deter most Montrealers from enjoying the outdoors. For a city that spends almost a third of the year covered in snow, this is what many live for. Simon Nakaneshny, CBC News, Montreal.